Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, 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 Yasharal and Yehuda, grafted in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. Listen, we give Yahuwah praise, the Most High Yahuwah, Allah, because He is the Most High. He is exalted in the Shamayim. He is Yahuwah Zavaoh. He is Yahuwah of the armies. He is Yahuwah, all-wise, all-knowing, omnipotent, everywhere, omniscient, everywhere, having all power and in total control. He is the Most High. Listen in to none other than Hezekiah. Song is entitled The Most High. I don't own the rights to this music. Yahuwah, I give you praise as you are the Most High and you are my Most High. I have received the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. I have been awakened, quickened, made alive by your Ruach HaKadosh. Having received the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach, I am yours. I belong to you. I am in the family of Yahuwah Alua, and I give you praise. I exalt you. I worship you as my most high Yahuwah Alua. And I thank you and I worship you for Yahushua HaMashiach who made it all possible, who became the propitiation for our sins. He stood between you and Yaakov. He restored a nation of people who received the witness back to you. And I give you praise. You, I pray that you would take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. Yahoo, I pray that the words that I speak will be spirit and life. That the words that I speak would not cause anyone to stumble, would not cause anyone to be turned out of the way, would not cause anyone to come up lame. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, I am in this for you. I am in this for the witness. I am in this to reach Yisrael. I am in this to reach the Gentiles which you have chosen out from among the nations. Yahuwah, I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you a praise. I give you praise. Yahuwah, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, I submit to the Ruach HaKadosh. I submit to the Ruach HaKadosh. I submit to the Ruach HaKadosh. Use me, Yahuwah. This vessel poured out for you. Use me, Yahuwah. I give you praise and I submit to your Ruach HaKadosh, the leading and guiding of the Ruach HaKadosh. I submit to it in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Yahuwah, I give you praise. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, we serve the Most High. We serve the Most High. Listen, there is nothing that can come against us when we are in this witness and serving the Most High. Everything that he allows to come upon us is because it's going to bring him glory. We serve the most high. No weapon, right? No no demonic power. No 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 tool of Hasatan. You know, nothing that's formed by these wicked devils. None of these things shall prosper. They will not they will not win against us because we serve the most high Yahuwah. We serve Alua. We serve Yahuwah Alua by faith in Yahushua Hamashiach's witness. Listen, we serve the Most High. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, we serve the Most High. We know who we serve. We know who we serve. We serve Yahuwah Alua. We serve Yahuwah of the armies. Listen, listen. We serve Yahuwah of the armies. And if you have received this witness, his, his, his Ruach HaKadosh, his power, operative power, his exousia, his dunamos is resident in earthen vessels. Yahuwah's power is changing and altering you on the inside. It is attacking hostily the things that they have sent into you that they have tried to kill you and destroy you with 
But in this witness, you've received his power. His Ruach Kakadesh, he's altered your DNA. Listen, he's, he's, he's in your red blood cells, your white blood cells. Listen, he's going to bat for you in the name. But you got to receive this in Emu Nah. You got to believe it in Emu. You, you can't stagger at the Ruach HaKadosh in you. You can't stagger at the Ruach HaKadosh in you. You can't stagger at the Ruach HaKadosh in you through unbelief. You got to be strong in Emunah. Yahushua said, ye shall receive power after that the Ruach HaKadosh has come upon you. If Yahushua said, these signs shall follow them that believe, you got to believe that in Emunah. And then that sets everything ablaze on the inside. <laughs> That's that fire that should have been your bones. <laughs> That's that Ruach HaKadosh of truth. That, that Ruach of consuming nuclear power. Good thing he gave it to us in measure. You have his treasure in measure, right? You have been sealed. You have the Ruach HaKadosh, right? He has sealed you with the Ruach. Listen, we're going to go over that real quick. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love, I love, I love you. I love the Ruach HaKadosh. I love what that represents for me in my life. Listen. Listen, I love knowing that I have you who is Ruach on the inside of me. I don't know about you, but I love knowing that I have the Ruach HaKadosh on the inside of me. That these treasure, this treasure, yeah, this treasure that I have in earthen vessels, I, I give you who a praise for it. I give you who a praise for it. I give you, you a praise for it. Listen, Ephesians 1 and 13 says, in whom also trusted in whom ye also trusted well who did you release your emu not in what did you release your emu not in what did you not stagger at through unbelief right in whom also ye trusted after that you heard the word of truth right so we know that yahushua is that word of truth yahushua is that word made flesh Yahushua was filled with, Yahushua was the word and the word became flesh and it dwelt among us and we beheld its glory even as the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth, right? So you believed, you released your emunah, right, in this witness. You released your emunah in the word, Yahushua, right, of truth, right? The Basora, that word which he preached, that brought your Yeshua, your salvation, and whom also after that ye received the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh, the witness, you were sealed. Yahuwah put his seal in you. What is the seal? The Ruach HaKadosh of Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, oh, yeah, I saw. Yes, you who I feel and hear you. Listen, mm. listen, the Ruach Kadesh in you is a seal, it is established in you, right? It reshapes you on a cellular level. Listen, listen, listen. It moves on your behalf in a supernatural level. It changes how you perform, right? It enhances you. It makes you your who was anointed super soldier. You are equipped to fight off anything that comes against you because there's no weapon that's formed against you. Nothing that they can do to you that's going to cause you to be destroyed. You are in the witness now. You are not just 
awakened, you have been quickened. <laughs> See, now you could be in this awakening, right? And you can be, you can be destroyed by these wicked devils, right? Because you have not received the infusion of the Ruach. <laughs> you got to be endowed with power. You got to be baptized with the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. You got to be submerged in this witness. <laughs> Listen, you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. You have to be submerged in this Ruach of power. You got to receive it. And listen, you ain't got to be in no assembly in order to receive the witness and be infused with the Ruach HaKadosh. All you got to do is present yourself in a manner in which you have been repentant and have turned and have received the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh, received the witness of the word, right? The blood and the water and ask Yahuwah to grant you the Ruach HaKadosh and he will fill you with the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, I'm a witness, man. I was in my room. I didn't know anything except I needed what was in the book of Acts. I needed what had happened. That's what he said. That's what I believed. And as a young man, that's what the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, listen, listen. And it is power unto Yeshua. He says here in the 13th verse, he says, In whom after that ye believed, you received the witness in Emu now. You were sealed. With the Ruach HaKadosh of promise. Yahushua said you must be born again of the water and the Ruach HaKadosh. You believed the witness the water, the blood, you believe that Ruach HaKadosh was for you and you've asked him for it. Will not the Father freely give them who ask the Ruach HaKadosh, who freely ask you? You who ain't in the business of holding the Ruach HaKadosh from you, but you must receive it. You must ask him and he'll give it to you. He said, listen, 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 the 14th verse, which is the earnest, <laughs> the earnest, the earnest, it's the surety, it's the down payment, right? It's the surety. It is something that Yahuwah gives you in lieu of you having received the fullness of the inheritance, right? Because like, you got this measure and earth and vessel, right? This treasure, this treasure. You have this treasure in earth and vessels. He says, which is the earnestness of your inheritance until the time that he gathers you the purchased possession. And, and how did he purchase you? with the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach through the witness, right? Through the witness, you have released Emunah in Yahushua, right? This witness, and not only releasing your Emunah in Yahushua, you had now become the possession of Yahuwah. You're the, you're the, pur you're the, pur you're the purchase possession. You belong to Yahuwah. You are his. It is non-negotiable, right? Now, because you have accepted this witness and you were his, right? Right? Yahuwah says, okay, this is a seed. The Ruach HaGadosh in you. You got to have the Ruach HaGadosh. This is a seed. This is what's going to establish you. This is what's going to work in you together for the good. Listen, the Ruach HaKadosh is going to lead you and guide you into all truth. The Ruach HaKadosh is going to lead you down the right path, right? And your Ruach HaKadosh ain't going to let nothing happen to you that they have, have clandestinely, right, 
through through manipulation, right, try to infuse you with some kind of foreign entity. <laughs> when confronted with your Ruwako Hakadesh DNA infused body on a molecular level, it is not going to prevail against you. <laughs> I know y'all say that more Ray crazy. It's okay. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen to me. <laughs> I know what the Ruach HaKadosh is. That's why he told me to look. You got to teach my people that they need to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. Because he, he's giving me the revelation of what the Ruach HaKadosh is in us. Right? You know. And it's amazing how many brews. They don't move by the Ruach HaKadosh. They don't move by the Ruach. I got, I got, I got brews on my Facebook page, right? I can listen to where they talk. They don't move by the Ruach Akadesh, right? They don't move by the Ruach Akadesh. Because if you move by the Ruach Akadesh, what you would be saying would be truth, right? Because it would be what the Ruach Akadesh is leading. And you know what? The Ruach Akadesh bears witness, y'all. Listen. Ruach Akadesh bears witness, y'all. When you have the Ruach Akadesh, you can tell people with funny Ruachs. You can tell people with unclean Ruachs. Oh. Listen, when you have the Ruach Akadesh and you're living under the supervision of the Ruach Akadesh, he will reveal to you the unclean Ruachs. Oh, yeah. He'll reveal them to you. And he ain't gonna, he gonna lead you away from it. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, once you get into a situation, right? Right? And you, and you, you in that situation for a minute, right? Yahushua starts to pull back the layers, right? He begins to reveal to you that you got to come out from among them. He reveals it to you because that's what the Ruach HaKadosh does. He is power. Listen, listen, the Ruach HaKadosh does so much because Yahuwah and Yahushua does so much. Yahushua had all power in the Shamaim and the Erechs, right? Yahushua fulfilled all things. That's the power that worketh in us to set things right. Listen. Listen, it was by his blood that we were cleansed. The consciousness of sin removed, right? It's by the washing of the washing of the going down in, in, in the water and rising up into everlasting life. The symbol of uh, the, the, the representation of us being made alive. Raised up together with Hamashiach. Got to be baptized. Jeez, you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh, listen. So much to the Ruach HaKadosh. You know, we limit it to the emotional experiences that we're having and we're attributing them to the Ruach HaKadosh. Yeah, the Ruach HaKadosh will cause you to rejoice, right? But the Ruach HaKadosh is going to do so much more, right? The Ruach HaKadosh will do so much more. Now listen, if you don't have the witness of Yusha Mashiach, you are open game to every device and screen scheme and treachery of Hasatan to destroy you because you have no covering. You have no covering in Yahuwah without the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. You have no covering. Listen, you could be, you could cry Hebrew all day long. But if you don't have the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, you have not been restored. You have no covering. You have no protection. You have no protection. You have no covering. Listen, man of Yah. Listen, listen, Hebrew. Listen, Akiko Okoti, 
Ima elder, if you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh, you are not under his covering. You do not have his protection. You do not have what the Ruach HaKadosh does to those who have received the witness hand. to you. I don't care how many DNA crazy RNA things they get moving. I don't matter. Listen, in the Ruach HaKadosh, Yahuwah and Yahusha in you, the power is established in you so that no weapon that no weapon that they form against you has ability to prosper in you. Okay, okay, okay. So he says, wherefore, he says, which is the earnest of your inheritance to the, the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory. Listen, it's to the praise of his glory that the Ruach HaKadosh in you causes you to overcome every scheme, every treachery, right? Right, because what he's doing is glorifying his great name in you. In the Ruach HaKadosh, when you have this witness and you are defeating every scheme, tactic, and device of Hasatan, right? Yahuwah is demonstrating his glory in you amongst the heathen. Listen, every scheme, every device that the enemy has launched against you over your over the years to destroy you, Yahuwah has appointed you this hour of return to be quickened and to be established in the witness, having received a Ruach HaKadosh, which is able to keep you so that no weapon that they create can be turned against you that can cause you to be destroyed. But you got to be a witness. Point blank, period. You got to be in witness. You got to be in witness. So many brews, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't have the witness of Yusha Mashiach. And some of the brews don't have the witness of Yusha Mashiach because they ain't been properly taught. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. There's, there's flaws in the teaching. Yeah. Got a bunch of people following you in Torah only. Right? There's a flaw. Well, you know, the idea is, is that, you know, if you follow someone that's going into the ditch, you're going to go into the ditch also. But I'm praying that you would cause people to hear these words, these words that you that your words that you're giving me and make them alive, make them understand that they need something else. The Ruach HaKadosh and the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. I don't even see how, how brethren can get past being Hebrew without having returned. I don't even see how you can justify your witness. What have you done to establish a, 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 a turn or a, to establish having been a turned to Yahuwah through sacrifice? Unless you want me to, because I'm not going to ever do what you don't want me to do. Listen, he says, Wherefore also I heard of your Imunah in Yehush Adonai Yehusha and the love for all the saints. Cease not to thank you and make mention of you in my prayers. That Alua of our Adonai Yehusha Hamashiach, the father of glory, may give unto you the Ruach HaKadosh. Because it's the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. These are all characteristics and features. These are all characteristics and features of the Ruach HaKadosh. The Ruach HaKadosh does so much, but we limit it to emotional experience. But the Ruach HaKadosh is, is everything. 
you know, you, you, you know, you, 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 listen, 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 I'd be dead without the Royal Cocker Dicks right now. I'll tell you right now, I would've been dead. I'd be dead without the Royal Cocker Dicks. We'd be dead. We'd be dead in trespasses. Dead in sin. Right, without the Royal Cocker Dicks, shout this witness. And dead. Dead. Right. Right. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of your calling. You, you ain't going to even know what the hope of your calling is until you receive the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. You ain't going to be able to see this. This is hid to you because you're lost. If you haven't received the witness of Yahushua Mashiach, this is hid to you because you, have, you haven't received the witness. It's hid. You, you're in darkness. Right? You're lost. Yeah, see, I just tell you I just tell you the truth. I just I just give you the absolute truth. Right? And I speak the truth in love. I don't do it out of malice. I speak it in love. Right? Right, right, right. Because you know, you know, bruises are bruises are stiff neck and stubborn. Right? Right. They stiff neck and stubborn. You know, you can't tell them nothing. Right? They know. Can't tell them nothing. Listen. This is the truth. This is the truth. Oh well, you know, that's 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 that. That's that that New Testament. We don't we don't keep we don't hold to the New Testament. All right, you're gonna die and go to hell. Point bank period. Right, right, right. You don't you don't you don't you don't you don't you don't want to receive the Mashiach. Oh, you dying and going to hell. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, your fate, you sealed your fate. You sealed your fate. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't want to receive the witness of you, Mashiach. You don't receive. You don't want to receive the epistles. You don't want to receive the word of the the renewed covenant, right? right. Oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. Okay, you going to hell. Bottom line, you know. Look, look. Make no mistake about it. You going to hell. You 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 got to receive the witness. Yahushua said you got to be born again of the water and the rule of God. You ain't doing that. You going to hell. Period. Point blank, you going to hell. You going to Sheol, right? You going to die. You going to spend an eternity separated from Yahuwah. He says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened because the only way you're ever going to receive understanding is by the Ruach HaKadosh. That's why, you know, you got so many people, you know, they, they, you know, they, they you know, they, they, oh, you know, we the people, oh, you know, oh, Yahuwah, we love you, Yahuwah. Yahuwah's like, okay, okay, okay. But what about Yahushua? What about that high priest forever that I've established after the order of Melchizedek? What about the blood that he shed? Do you receive that? I will, you who I, I, I'm just with Moshe because Moshe is the, the only man that the, oh, the greatest man that you have ever spoken to. What? 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 Unbelievable. It's because you don't have no Ruach HaKadosh. You haven't been enlightened. To make a statement like that, you have not been enlightened, no way, no how. You have not received the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. You do not operate by the Ruach HaKadosh. You are not led by the spirit of you. And I have to tell you that you, you, you not led by the Ruach HaKadosh, right? And you ain't established in the witness. You ain't coming for you. You who is not coming for you. He's not gathering you, right? Oh, you're looking at the blood moon and the red moons and all the other moons, but you know what? You haven't received the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. He ain't coming for you, right? You may not make it past Maxine. Oh, yeah. You may not make it past the chemtrails. Oh, yeah. You may not make it past some of these things that they're going to dump on you, right? Because you ain't establishing the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. You don't have the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. You don't have the, the, the Ruach HaKadosh flowing through you, right? Because when you have the Ruach HaKadosh, you sign, follow them, you believe in them, his name, you cast out devils, his name, you speak in new tongues, his name, you take up serpents, shake them off, you drink any deadly take a shit out of you can't, you can't even experience, you can't even, you can't live through that experience without the Ruach HaKadosh. The eyes of your understanding is being enlightened. You don't have the eyes of your understanding enlightened. Aki, Okoti, 
right? And these doctrines, you you don't have your eyes and your understanding open, right? You don't understand what the hope of his calling, right? Right? No, because you 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 pursuing a certain ideology, a certain way of thinking. Right? You, you, you don't you don't understand, you know. But rest assured, excuse me, rest assured, there's those that are going to be saved and those that are going to be damned. Those who receive the witness, those who who are washed with, sprinkled with water, those who have been baptized, those who have been born again, those who've been baptized with water and with the Ruach HaKadosh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't no other turn against them, no prosper. Right? No, no. Because they enlightened. See, they understand in the Ruach HaKadosh that they are supernatural, right? They are literally elves, not to be worshipped. But see, because when you receive your Ruach HaKadosh, you are infused with elves. The illness in you will rise up and fight any battle that you see and you don't see by the power, the dunamos, the exousia, the, the explosive dynamite, ruach, nuclear power of you. <laughs> I know y'all think I'm crazy, but it don't matter. It's the truth. It's the truth. You can't take me off this. Yeah, you can't take me off this. You can't get me believing crazy stuff. You know, some of the stuff he's teaching and pushing. You know, you don't got Maxine. You know, you, you it's over for you. What? Says who? Says who? Says who? If you who will cause you to his witness and you've received the water and the blood and the rule of <laughs> it's a lie Yahuwah will do everything necessary to restore you Listen, it ain't over to Yahuwah and Yahusha says it's over, right? This witness still has to be preached. Listen, listen, listen. This witness still have to be preached. You still have people in the, in, in, in the nation that don't understand this witness. This, this witness has to be preached. You sitting up here in, 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 in your assemblies, you preaching and teaching, and you, look, you got you, yours, and mine, right? But there's people that's got to be reached. You, who, listen, you should woke you up, made, understood that you were Hebrew, right? Three, four, five years ago. For what? For you just to recognize that you Hebrew? Right? So you could tell everybody else that they Hebrew? Right? Or is it to let you know that you Hebrew and to let your people know that they can't do the things that their forefathers did? They have to be established in this witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, of which Yahushua knew that there was going to come a time when it was going to be darkened. So he put it in them to write it and record it and put it down so that we, when we get it, could begin to put the pieces together now because now we have the revelation of who we are and because we understand who we are by the Ruach HaKadosh, we know that we have to turn to Hamashiach and receive his witness. And with that turning, with that receiving of the witness of you, Hamashiach, we become enlightened. And now that we have become enlightened, we are to enlighten our brethren all over the world. And not just your brother, because you said he got sheep that are not of this fold. The apostle Paul went to the Gentiles, right? 
which means that the Gentile who Yahuwah has chosen has a place in this kingdom. Because they received the witness. Be it that way. Because they received the witness. Because they received the witness. You, you got to have the witness. 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 Listen, ain't nothing going to happen until the this, the, this besor is preached. You know, just because you get on the on the on the uh, on on YouTube, just because we get on YouTube, don't mean that everything that's hit YouTube is the witness. I guarantee you, some a lot of it is good information, but ain't nobody hardly talking about having and needing the ruach hakadosh. Why is that? Everybody's pushing all this stuff, but ain't nobody telling people that they got to be born again and receive the witness of Yusha Mashiach, which means that this Besora must be preached. Shaul, Peter, Yehukanah, the apostles died for this witness. Life is on the line for this witness. What is your life on the line with? What have what have you done in this witness to demonstrate by the Ruach HaKadosh you're actively doing what Yahusha has said to do? I ain't talking about Christianity. I'm not talking about a bunch of tribes and assemblies. I'm talking about establishing the witness of Yahusha Mashiach. Now, with that comes the establishments of tribes and assemblies, right? But there's only 12 tribes, right? And this, all this chaos of tribes through, throughout the continent is, is a testament to the lack of brotherly oneness that we were supposed to have as a nation. Yeah, you only have 12 tribes. 12 tribes. And if, if the 12 tribes are in Africa and they're warring against one another, listen, Yahushua ain't coming yet. <laughs> listen, listen, no man know the day nor the hour, but you know what? You better be preaching this Basora. You better be getting this Basora out. You better be doing this witness. You better be preaching this Basora. You know, waiting for the Shabbat waiting for people to show up on the Shabbat. You know what? At least, at least, you know, at least, you know, right? These camps, right? They be out there getting it, right? But the problem is, is, is that, is that, is that they don't have the Ruach HaKadosh because you can tell that the Ruach HaKadosh is non-existent in them because they don't move in love, Right? Because it's, it's you who is Ruach that establishes one in love. And they don't operate according to the truth, right? I mean, they, they, they have error, right? Now, straighten out that error and give them the Ruach HaKadosh. They out there pounding the pavement. If they got it, they doing, what they, they doing the work. You got, you, got, you, got, you got places where brews are that they don't even know that they heed brews. They don't even know the witness of Yusha Mashiach. They don't even know. You got you got bruised it over in Haiti. You know, they in the voodoo. Ancestral Ruwaks. What you doing to reach the witness? You know, your ministry is supposed to be throughout the whole world. Who you fooling? Your witness ain't throughout the whole world because you're on YouTube. It's there because you've been there. You've established teaching and, and ministering there. Okay, y'all better reassess your reassess your uh, your uh, your mission statement. Some of that stuff, y'all mission statements. Y'all need to reevaluate it. What you doing? What you doing? How long you been doing it? What you doing? Right? What's your limitation? Oh well, you know we we we, we can't go in other countries because we ain't get Maxine. <laughs> you know, listen, 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 listen. 
Listen, don't wait for him to get you prosperous. You're going to reach your brother and to bring them in the witness of you, Shemashia. You're doing the work of you. What makes you think any weapon formed against you prospers? Listen, Shaul, Shaul went into territories, preached the gospel, and was stoned and drunk out of the city and left for dead. <laughs> you rose him up. But see, see, y'all preach it, but you don't believe it. You preach it, but you don't believe it. You preach it, but you don't believe it. You you don't believe it because you know if you believed it, you would be moving in it, right? You'd be moving in it. Somebody say, "Well, you just talk. You wait." <laughs> You just wait. <laughs> and this is not to toot my horn. This is because I'm just going to do what, what Yahuwah says. This Messiah must be preached. Right? Messiah must be preached. Right? We we had a we had a blood moon. Right? We also had a blood moon. What? Maybe a year and a half ago? A year and a half ago? Two years ago? Hebrews search, look for signs. Right? Well, what we doing? Right? Yeah, we see the, we see events that are occurring in the world, but what we doing? Is there the earnest push to get out and reach the brethren for the witness of Yusha Mashiach? Is there a push to establish this witness and establish this, this unity to, to, to bring forth this effort to reach the brethren? You got brethren in Panama. You got brethren in, 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 in Mexico. You got brethren in, in other American countries. They don't know that they bruise. Some of them do, right? But they don't know where to go. They don't know what to do. They don't even know what to teach. Listen. This Messiah must be preached. This Messiah must be preached. This witness must be preached. He says, he says, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe? Exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe. I believe no weapon formed against me prospers. I believe in the power of the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. I believe in Dunamos and Exousia. I believe that Yahuwah does things on a cellular level in my body. I believe that Yahuwah does supernatural things by the Ruach HaKodesh on a cellular level in my body. And because I have this witness, no weapon form gets me prosperous. No weapon form gets me prosperous. <clears throat> The seeding greatness of his power to us were who received the witness. The power is to those who receive the witness. No weapon formed against those who receive the witness. I can do all things because I've received the witness of Hamashiach, which strengthened me by the Ruach. which he wrought when he raised Hamashiach from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. Now, because of the resurrection of Yahushua Hamashiach and establishing him in the Shamayim, right? Because Yahushua went into the Shamayim. He was the high priest after the order of Melchizedek with his own blood. Into the Shamayim, into the tabernacle that was not pitched with hands. 
He went into the Shamaim and to the most holies of holies, and Yahuwah Zavao was there to meet him personal as he offered up his blood. Because of what Yusha did. You would say, okay, for those who receive this witness, I am no longer angry with them. We are going to take away sin consciousness, and we're going to give them the down payment of the Ruach HaKadosh, which is going to keep them until we gather them. The Ruach HaKadosh. The witness. Right? Right? He says, succeeding greatness of his power. It's his mighty power. Same power that he used when he raised Yahushua Mashiach from the dead. The Ruach HaKadosh, the mighty power. It's the same power that he put in you that raised Yahushua Mashiach from the dead. Listen. Exceeding greatness. Exceeding greatness of his power. <sighs> Somebody needs to know today that Yahuwah's power is greater than anything that you could have ever consumed or anything that anybody could have ever stuck you with. Yeah, it is. So if you haven't received the witness, receive the witness. And don't let anybody tell you that you will not make it because you have received this. RNA, DNA, Maxine, right? When greater is he that is in you by the Ruach HaKadosh, when in the witness you have received the Ruach HaKadosh, which is exceeding greatness of his power, this mighty power which he wrought when he raised the Mashiach from the dead, this mighty power that reconstructs and alters everything that they have attempted to do to you on a cellular level because the witness of Yahuwah and Yahushua and the Ruach HaKadosh in you is complete. It will run out, destroy, crush, uh, 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 abolish anything that's in you. Making some pushback, but okay. I don't care. <laughs> See, because I'm going to just tell you the absolute truth. And what I say to you, I can support in this. I just supported to you. I just gave you support in reference to this Ruach of power, right? But it's in those who have received the witness. I, got you. I just gave you evidence, right? Evidence. He says, he says, the exceeding greatness greatness of, of his power. Who's? Yahuwah's. The Ruach HaKadosh. To us word. To us word who believe. See, we had to have Imunah, this witness, in order to have received this Ruach of power, this gift, this supernatural healing, this ability that Yahuwah has put in us to cause everything that's wicked and divisive that has been formed, that has been implanted, that has been sprayed, that has been in, 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 put in foods. This stuff ain't gonna prosper in us. But you gotta believe that. You gotta have Imuna and what the Ruach HaKadosh capabilities are. I say, I just know he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I can ask or think. Yeah, I, I just know this to be the truth. He says, he says, Yahushua is far above all principalities and powers and mights and dominions and every name that is named, not only this earl, but as in the world to come. And have put all things under, under, have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things. Right, which is his body or fullness of him and work is all in all. Now, let's go to Corinthians where we left off. <laughs> right now, in Corinthians, the 12th chapter, the first verse, right? Shaul is beginning to address spirituality or what it is to have and what comes as a result of having received the Ruach HaKadosh, right? Now he says here in that first verse, that 12th chapter, now concerning Ruach, Ruach HaKadosh, brethren, right? And, and gifts is italicized, right? Right, right. Now, 
This is italicized, which means that it was added at the reader's or the writer's discretion to make it clearer to him. But in actuality, that word gift is not there. So he says, now concerning Ruachal things. Ruach HaKadosh things. Right? Things that concern or pertain to the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? Now concerning those things. Brethren, I would not have you ignorant. See, I can't not let you be ignorant concerning what the Ruach HaKadosh does. I can't, I can't let you be ignorant. That's why I got to do what Yahuwah told me to do. He said, listen, you tell my people they need to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You tell my people they need to receive this witness. They need to understand what it means and the necessity of having a Ruach HaKadosh. So much so that Yahushua said you had to be born again with it. Right, Yehuchanan said, and, and and having watched Yehusha come up out of the water and the ruach says she standing up on him like a dove, he said, "Listen, he who told me that this would occur, it told me that Yehusha Mashiach was going to baptize with the ruach Hakadesh." Right now, Yehuah's baptism of the ruach Hakadesh came after he left, and after he came to the disciples and appeared for forty days with them. Right, he blew on them and they received the ruach Hakadesh. Right, but he gave them. On Pentecost, the Ruach HaKadosh, they, they were baptized with the Ruach HaKadosh. And, and, and a demonstration of what occurred with them is there. Right? Now listen, now listen, now listen. He said, I, won't, I, 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 I don't want to have you ignorant concerning the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? He said, ye know that ye were Gentiles. Because, you know, Gentiles didn't, didn't, didn't have a clue about Yahuwah or his Ruach HaKadosh. They don't know nothing about that. You know, they, they don't understand that. And, you know, because, you know, you have no familiarity with the Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh. See, the, the Yahudim knew Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh own people. They knew Dawid had Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh. They knew Samson had the power of Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh. It was provided for him, right, to do what Yahuwah needed him to do, right? He gave it to him. Gave him the strength to do what he needed to do as a Ruach -o. <clears throat> Yahuwah gave the prophets power to do, to heal, to raise from the dead. He says, now, you don't know nothing about that because you don't have that history. You don't have that historical information. You don't have that. And, and you know, I don't want you to be ignorant of what the Ruach HaKadosh is and what the Ruach HaKadosh does, right? He says, because, you know, you were carried about by dumb idols, even as you were led. See, these Ruachs, these evil Ruachs, these demons that you worshipped, right, that, 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 because, you know, an idol is nothing, right? But what they actually worship is demons. But the idol, you know, it's nothing, it's stone, it's wood. It can't do nothing, can't breathe, can't talk, can't speak. It has no power to give you ain't nothing it can do for you, right? He said, you were led away by these dumb idols, right? He says, wherefore, I give you to understand. Now, I'm about to help you to understand this, right? That no man speaketh by the Ruach HaKadosh of Alua calleth Yahushua curse. Right. So, listen, first and foremost, anybody that's speaking against Yahushua Hamashiach's witness, right, they don't have Yahushua's Ruach HaKadosh. They do not have Yahushua's Ruach HaKadosh. Don't follow them. Don't follow them. Just because they sound good, don't follow them, right? Anybody that tells you that, you know, you don't have to, you know, Yahushua Hamashiach is a curse or Yahushua Hamashiach is, a, is, a, is the spawn of the Roman Catholic Church and Caesar, you know. Anybody that, that, that tries to tell you other otherwise of Yahushua being the son of Yahuwah, the Redeemer by which you have received this Yeshua, and his Ruach HaKadosh, listen, 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 don't, 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 don't listen to them. 
he says, and no man can say that Yahushua is Adonai, but by the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahushua, be it known unto you, listeners of this YouTube, right? The Yahushua Hamashiach is the son of the living Alua Yahuwah. Right? And this son, Yahushua, has purchased Yeshua for all those who will receive this witness, right? That will receive the Ruach HaKadosh, the water and the blood. Yeah. Yahushua Mashiach is right, our kinsman redeemer. He is that high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. He is the lamb of Yahuwah, and he is he that bore our sins upon a tree. Yahushua, he died on that tree. He was put into a grave. He went into Sheol. He left there with the keys of death and hell, and he went into the Shamayim carrying his presenting his blood as a lamb in the holies of holies in the Shamayim, and Yahuwah was there, and Yahuwah received him with grace and gratitude and love and was approving of his sacrifice. Now I said that by the Ruach HaKadosh. Hallelujah. I said that by the Ruach HaKadosh. Yeah, because see, I believe this witness. <laughs> I have the Ruach HaKadosh. That's what Shaul said. Right? So, you know, I'm bruised to be out there. Well, you know, then, yeah. I believe in Yahushua. I believe in Yah only. Yeah. Yeah. You call him Yahushua curse. You don't have Yahushua's Ruach HaKadosh. You ain't been enlightened. You have not been enlightened. Nada, no, no way have you been enlightened. You are not qualified to teach anybody nothing. Right? And if you are listening to or following individuals who have suggested that Yahushua is a curse, you better get away from them because you ain't going to make it. Verse 4, he says, now, there is diversities of gifts, right? But the same Ruach HaKadosh, right? There's diversities of gifts. Now, let's look at that word gifts. Let's see what that word gifts reflects. The word gift in the Greek is Strong's G, 5486. Charisma. 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 Or charisma. Right. It's part of us. Is, is that word as well. Or it's taken from that word, right? He says, a favor with which one receives without any merit or uh, of its own, right? The gift of divine grace, right? The gift of faith, the gift of knowledge, the gift of holiness, the gift of of virtue right so there are qualities right there i say qualities right that are presented in the ruach HaKadosh, that comes forth right in different ways right so we look at gifts right he says now there is a diversity. So what is a diversity? Right? Strong's G, 1243. Diarisis. Diarisis. Right. Diarisis. It means division of distribution or this different distributions. Right? Right? A distinction, a difference. In particular, a distinction arising from a difference of distribution from different person to person, right? 
Let's see what the etymology of that word is. Let's see. Strong's G, 1244. De Ireo. De Ireo. De Ireo. To divide into parts. Right. So there's divided parts of the Ruach Akadesh, right? Parts to tear, to cleave, to cut asunder, to distribute, right? So in diversities, we're talking about um, in 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 diversities, we're referencing a difference, right? Uh, different aspects of the Ruach Hakodesh, right? Same Ruach Hakodesh, but it's different diversities, differences in. And what it does, right? He says, now there are differences of administration. Now we're talking about, about administrations. Now administrations have everything to do with order and structure, right? Uh, services. That word is the Kanoia. Strong's G, 1248. Deaconia. 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 That, that, right? Service ministering, those who execute the command of others, right? So we're talking about order. We're talking about structure, right? Those of those whom by the commandments of allure proclaim and promote regions of men, like off of the office of Moshe, the office of the apostles, the administration, prophets, evangelists, elders. So there's different 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 offices administrations right in the ruach HaKadosh, right so he says for there are different administrations but the same adonai right so adonai is still in charge of the assemblies right he's in charge of all the assemblies the he the headship the leadership right Everything is under his administration in the Ruach HaKadosh, right? So if you had the Ruach HaKadosh, right, in, within Yahusha's assembly, right, uh, in his body, right, right, his, his assembly, right, everybody has an administration, an office, something that they do. Right? But it's the same Ruach HaKadosh. Right? There are differences of administration, but the same Adonai. And there are diversity of operations. They operate differently. Right? Operate differently. But it's the same Alua which worketh all in all. So, the in the diversity, right, there's a difference of operations. Right? That word operation is Strong's G seventeen fifty five Energima. 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 Right. Things wrought. Right. Affect operation. Or things that are wrought that affect operation. They affect operation. Let me see what the etymology of this word is. The etymology of the word is Strong's G, 1754, Energeo. Root. Energeo. It is to be operative, to be at work, put forth power, to work for one, aid one, to display one's activity, to show others self-operative, right? Operation. So operations is work, right? There's work that's put forth as a result of authority, right? As a, as a result of one's authority, right? So you have work that's put forth in operation, right? Right? Operation, but it's the same Alua that worketh all in all. So it's the same Yahuwah Alua that's in charge of everything in charge of the all of the operations, right? Because Yahuwah Lua and Yahushua Mashiach, 
Yahushua is the head of the assembly, of the body, of the church. Not the church, but the assembly. Right? Now, right? He works all, in all, in those who have received the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. Because we're talking about people who've received the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. We ain't talking about anybody else. Because anybody else that doesn't have received the witness of Yahushua Mashiach, they aren't speaking concerning Yahushua Mashiach. Right? And therefore, because they're not speaking to Yahushua Mashiach's witness, they're accursed. Or they, they, they have ascribed Yahushua to be a curse. Because they have not received the witness. They have not identified with the fact that it was his water, his blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh that brought their Yeshua. Right? So, he says, and there are diversities of operations. There's, 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 there's different ways that things are being done, but Yahuwah Lua is in charge of it all. Right? Yahuwah Lua is in charge of it all. That means that every assembly... Every assembly may not have the same operation, right? They have the same operation, right? But they operate differently, but Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh is in charge of it all. If they have Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh and they are moving in the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. But you know what's interesting to me, right? Yahuwah is in charge of them all, right? Yahushua Hamashiach, right, has made it possible for the Ruach HaKadosh to give us these gifts to operate in the body of Yahushua Hamashiach, right? And even though we have different operations, right, there still should be this unity, this oneness, which you don't see. There still should be this unity, this oneness, but yet you don't see it, right? You don't see it. Okay, so he says, "Listen, you know, you know, I, you know, I just call it like Yahuwah gives it, right? Yahuwah doesn't see the unity." Yahuwah don't see the love. Yahuwah don't see the coming together. Okay. Right. He says, he says, now in the seventh verse, but the manifestation of the Ruach HaKadosh is given to every man who received the witness and who asked. He ain't just giving to every man. Oh, everybody got... The Ruach that no, that's not what he meant. The Ruach HaKadosh, but the manifestation of the Ruach HaKadosh, Yahuwah has given his Ruach HaKadosh and manifested it for the purpose of giving every man what he needs in order for the advancement and the profitable profitability of the kingdom of Yahushua, the witness, the assembly, the unified assembly. Let me tell you, man, I, look. It's in the unified assembly. It's the coming together of the assembly of the people of Yahuwah. It's the unification of the body that's going to cause the persecution. We ain't unified. We got bruised out there wanting to pick it and walk. We got bruised that don't care. We got bruised that making that money and they don't want nothing that's going to stop their flow. We got bruised that don't know they bruised. When the Ruach HaKadosh is given to us to profit with all. 
it's given to us to profit every body. This witness. That's what I'm telling you. This witness got to be preached because in this witness comes the Ruach HaKadosh, which is to profit everyone. And Yahuwah has given this Ruach HaKadosh with diversity of operation. Diversity of 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 um, responsibilities, right? A diversity. It's to profit everybody, right? He says, "For to one is given by the Ruach Hakodesh a word of wisdom." See the Ruach Hakodesh, right? will manifest in an individual to provide a word of wisdom with the expectation of giving this clarity, this clarity, right, to the people of you. Wisdom. To give understanding, right, to the people of you. Right, because only those who have the only those who have the the ruach hakadosh is going to receive and understand this word, because it's ruach. It's spiritually discerned. Yahuwah brings forth a word of knowledge by the same ruach hakadosh. A word of not, let's look at this, let's look at this. A word of wisdom, let's look at the word wisdom in the Greek. The word wisdom in the Greek is? Strong's G, 4678, Sophia. 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 Right. Sophia. The broad and full, broad and full of intelligence. The use of knowledge of very diverse matters. Right? Yahuwah gives the word of wisdom, right? That is used of the knowledge of very diverse matter. It is broad and full of intelligence. Wisdom. Person who move not see and, and this is not just a natural uh uh pulling together of information right this is a ruako ruakakadesh wisdom ruako ruak inspired yahua inspired word of wisdom it's like you know when you look when you read ecclesiastics right you know you, you, you 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 see you who was wisdom, you know, and you also see uh 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 or uh, 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 uh Samuel no uh Solomon's wisdom, Shlomo's wisdom, right? But the wisdom of Yahuwah, right, is that wisdom that Shlomo displayed to such a degree that people would come and petition and make requests and he would share with them. They would bring him gifts, right? That's the supernatural wisdom. That's, that's, that's the wisdom that comes with the Ruach HaKadosh. Wisdom, right? He says, and wisdom, and to another, a word of knowledge, right? Let's look at knowledge. We basically understand what knowledge is. Gnosis. Strong's G, 1108. Gnosis. 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 It is knowledge signifies in general intelligence and understanding. General intelligence and understanding, right? General knowledge it says general knowledge of of Mashiach's um, teaching. Right, I'm gonna say teaching. It says Christian religion, but 
I'm going to say, knowledge of Mashiach's teachings, right? The deeper, more perfect, and enlarged knowledge of the teachings or the Bussorah, such as belong to more advanced, right? Things lawful, right? And things unlawful in the Bussorah and the Torah, right? Right? Knowledge. So, the Ruach HaKadosh in times of necessity presents this supernatural knowledge, right? That brings enlightenment to those who hear it, right? Because those who hear it are those who've got an ear to hear what, what the Ruach says. They're going to receive this knowledge and this knowledge is going to pertain to something that Yahuwah needs them to know. Right? It's a word of knowledge. Yahuwah may present a word of knowledge by the Ruach HaKadosh, by a man of Yahuwah, right? That is supernatural. He may give it to him and he may speak it, right? And those who hear it will know and receive it as a word of Yahuwah because it is by the Ruach HaKadosh. See, now, if, if you, you, you call it Yahushua curse, you can't say nothing. You can't tell me. You, you, listen, if you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh, you can't teach me nothing. I did a message one time. If you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh, you can't teach me nothing. You can't. You have no enlightenment. You have no enlightenment. We read in Ephesians that the Ruach HaKadosh enlightens. It's the Ruach of truth. It's the Ruach of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. You can't teach me nothing if you don't have his Ruach HaKadosh. That's why Yahuwah has to have people who have the Ruach HaKadosh. See, Yahuwah ain't interested in your degrees. Right? He ain't interested in your degrees. He ain't interested in your PhD. He ain't interested in your doctorate of sociology or or chemistry or or theology for that matter. He ain't interested in that. He care about that. You who should need somebody who has the ruach like a dish that can open their mouth and say what he says them to say when he gives it to them to say. Hello. Listen, I'm going to say what he want me to say, and I don't care what anybody thinks, because you know what? You don't care what anybody thinks when it comes to what he's saying. He'll give you a word of knowledge, and with that word of knowledge, you need to take that word of knowledge and receive it in Imunah and have that word of knowledge make whatever it is that that word says come alive in you, right? You got to do it. You got to do it. You have to do it. You have to receive that word. You have to receive that witness. You have to be established in that truth. He gives it to you for your benefit. It's a deeper and more perfect and enlarged knowledge that is given by the Ruach HaKadosh. The Ruach HaKadosh will pull stuff from me that when I go back and listen to what I have said, I'll be like, what, did I say that? <laughs> and then I'll, I'll look it up a little bit deeper. I'm like, ooh, yeah, you, you, what? Yahuwah moves by a word of knowledge. He moves by a word of wisdom. Man of y'all, you, 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 you have to understand. He says, and to another, right, he says, oh, and the word of knowledge by the same Ruach HaKadosh, right? So you moves differently. He ascribes different things to different people, right? He's going to use those who are usable. Yeah, he's going to speak a word to those who have an intimate relationship with him. Those who will fast and pray. Those who will meditate on his Basor and his Torah truth. Those who will be led by his Ruach HaKadosh, right? You will 
manifest gifts in them. He may not manifest the same gift all the time. He may manifest diversity of gifts, <laughs> right? It all depends on what he has available in the place that he is. He may have an assembly where, you know, you, you only got a few people that have the Ruach HaKadosh. You know, you got a bunch of fakers, right? Right? And, they, you know, they ain't doing nothing Ruach, right? But you got those people that have the Ruach HaKadosh, and he going he gonna to do whatever he needs to do with them. They may not function in the same gift all the time. It's how he wants to use the gift in you because it's his. He put it in you, but you got to move in it as he gives it to you to move. Spiritual gifts. And listen, the Christian church has gotten this all jacked up. It's jacked up. Jacked up. Jacked up. Christianity has gotten this all jacked up. And because of its jacked upness, right? Because you got people giving a word that's wisdom and a word of knowledge, then they full of hell. They ain't got the rule of Kadesh. They just gonna say something that they feel inspired to say. It ain't the Ruach Kadesh. Listen, when we was in the Baptist church, I ain't never heard a word of knowledge. The time I was in the Baptist church, I never received a word of knowledge. Never seen anybody else have a word of knowledge. Never seen anybody operate in a word of wisdom. Right? And then you get into some of these assemblies and some of these faith churches, you know, you know, you got these people giving words and getting donations. <laughs> <laughs> giving the word to get more money. <laughs> Come on, man. That ain't righteous. That's not this. Yeah, yeah. I got a word for you. Yahuwah says, da -da 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 -da. and for everyone that gives a hundred dollars, he is going to multiply that word. <laughs> These devils, man. Listen, they devils. Listen, Yahuwah's got a word for his people, right? But his people has got to come in line with the witness. You got to receive the witness. It's going to be a beautiful thing when the witness starts flowing in the assemblies as Yahuwah had intended. It's going to be a beautiful thing when the witness is demonstrated in power, right? It's going to be a beautiful thing when you walk in and you're, you, and you're in a place where you deliver the word of Yahuwah, you know, and everybody's speaking a foreign language and you get up and begin to speak a word by the Ruach HaKadosh and everybody gets excited and gets all happy. You don't know what you said, but they understood because they can interpret it to you and it is exactly what Yahuwah has given you to reveal to them. <laughs> I had that happen. This is a beautiful thing when you're moving into Ruach HaKadosh. And then they got nothing to do with a feeling. None of feeling. You know, I told you about this story. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell it again because it bears witness and telling. Right? I went to a church, a Spanish church. Everybody in this church spoke Spanish. The pastor was a Spanish preaching pastor. A pastor that I was in fellowship with, you know, he asked me to go and attend it because it was a friend of his. And he said, you know, he wanted us to go. I said, yeah, okay. I went and went to the church, you know, and sat up in the pulpit because, you know, that's what we did. And sat up in the pulpit, and, you know, and he was in the church, you know, and he, you know, they were singing, and, you know, they were singing in Spanish, you know. She was there. We was kind of like, you know, clapping and stuff because, you know, we got rhythm. <laughs> but we didn't understand what they were saying. But, you know, certain things you begin to pick up, you kind of understand what they were saying. But, you know, you know, it was good, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was a nice service, you know, I mean, the service, you know, I mean, these people was going in and they love you, you know, they, they love the Lord, you know, I mean, you know, why you would did what he did, I don't, you know, I don't question you, I just do what he tell me to do. So, you know, the, the pastor gets up and he preaches in Spanish, and of course he translates to us in English, and he speaks to them in Spanish, and he translated us to English, and then finally after the church was over and service was over, you know, he asked me to come up and pray for the people. I said, well, you know, I'll pray for people, but, you know, I don't, I don't know. You know, like, you, you want me to pray for people? You know, I ain't going to not pray for anybody. I'm going to pray, but you, 
you know, I don't know what to say to these people. So, you know what? I'm going to trust the Ruach HaKadosh. Uh, and I said the Holy Spirit at the time. I'm going to trust the Holy Spirit. I'm just going to pray in the Holy Spirit because he gave me the Ruach with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And I know that there are times when all I got to do is start praying in the Ruach HaKadosh with other tongues. And, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, that's what I did. You know, people started coming up and I started praying for them. And you know, I was praying in, in, in Ruach and other tongues. And, you know, I was, I was, I was praying out loud. You know, because I told you who that's what I was going to do. <laughs> and I prayed, prayed out loud. You know, people kept coming up, came, you know, you know, like I said, the church was getting amped. I mean, they were getting, oh, it was, you know, just going in, you know. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm just praying. I was praying. And after I finished praying with the last person, you know, I finished praying, you know, you know, I, you know, I raised my hand, you know, and just, you know, and went back and sat down, or actually, I stood up next to, the pastor and and uh, uh, and 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 the uh, elder that I came with, the pastor I came with, <coughs> and you know the 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 Spanish speaks back. He's jumping up and down and he's like, hey. he's all excited. He come over to me. He said, "You speak Spanish? You speak Spanish?" I like, no. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You speak Spanish." I said, "No, I don't." <laughs> he said, "You do both." Times. And then he began to tell me what Yahuwah said and how Yahuwah was going to bless them and he's going to do some things that da da da, you know, and that's, that was Yahuwah. I ain't on Spanish. This day I don't know Spanish. You know, I often wanted to learn Spanish. I kind of think I should be familiar with Spanish, but I didn't need Spanish. Yahuwah, by his Ruach HaKadosh, put in me the gifts of tongues, right? Right? It was the tongues of men. It was language. It wasn't the tongue of angels, right? The tongue of angels is between me and him. That's a Ruach of prayer that I pray, and, I, and then he speaks and he interprets it for me, right? But that's, that's angels, because I'm talking to you. But I was talking and praying for them. So he said, you know, I'm praying, and, you know, you know, Right? Yahuwah does what he needs to do because he does it in the Ruach HaKadosh. It's going to be a beautiful thing when we see these evidences, right, in the assemblies. Beautiful thing when we see these evidences in the assemblies. Right? Demonstrations of the Ruach HaKadosh. In the assemblies. The receiving of the Ruach HaKadosh in the assemblies. The laying hand of men and having men and women receive the Ruach HaKadosh in the assembly. And then having the gifts of the Ruach HaKadosh be manifested in them, in the assemblies. See, because that's sanctifying his great name in us among the heathen. He puts his Ruach HaKadosh in you Yah's salvation, Yah's Ruach, right? He puts his Ruach in you, and that's what sets you apart. That's what sanctifies you. That's what identifies you. This move and this power, this demonstration, it's what manifests before for people. He says, listen, to another... Faith by the same Ruach. I, I, I believe. I, I do. I believe. I have gift of faith. I just believe. <laughs> I do. I believe that you would do anything. I believe you can translate, trans, transport, teleport me from here over to the continent and back. <laughs> I believe it. I believe you can do whatever, because Yahuwah in the Ruach HaKadosh in me, and Yahuwah, listen, I, listen, that's Imunah. Look, I stagger not the promises of Yahuwah to unbelief. I believe Yahuwah's word. Yahuwah's word is absolute truth to me. It's fine authority. Yeah. Listen, I believe Yahuwah's word is fine authority. I believe I have the gift of faith. 
No weapon turned against me prosperous. I have to get the faith. The same Ruach Akadesh. He says another have the gift of healings. I've operated in the gift of healings. <laughs> I've done that before too. In the Ruach Akadesh. Right? I don't operate in it all the time. But I know when it's time. You know, funny. I know, I know. It's kind of. Yeah, so you would tell me to pray for somebody right now. I said, listen, you would told me to pray for you right now. Right? You was about to heal you. If you receive this witness, <laughs> you was going to do something supernatural for you. And then Yahuwah, you don't even necessarily have to receive his witness. Yahuwah tell me to pray for somebody right now. It's in lieu of demonstrating to them his power over their situation to heal them and to take dominion in their lives if they yield to his Ruach, to his witness. He said healings by the same Ruach Kadesh, the same Ruach Kadesh. He says, and to another, the working of miracles. Miracles. Oh, yeah. Touch somebody and, you know, their limbs grow out. Listen. It's a gift of miracles, man. Listen, these, these signs should be in the assemblies. These things should be in the assemblies. These things should be amongst those that have been quickened in this witness. It should. He says, to another, the working of miracles, to another, prophecy, to another, discerning of spirits. You can prophesy. In this witness, you can foretell in this witness, right? You could preach in this witness. You can discern spirits in this witness. See, all these things are necessary in establishing Yahushua's kingdom. These are all established. These things are necessary to establish Yahushua's kingdom in the Eretz. These are things that he's put in us. These are the things that should be manifested in us. If we receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach, we, these things should be demonstrated in us. Some of y'all been in assemblies and you ain't seen none of this. <laughs> you ain't seen a miracle. Prophecy. Ain't nobody discerning spirits. Y'all casting out spirits out of the same people. <laughs> These things ought not be. To another diversity of tongues. Diverse kinds of tongues. And again, I alluded to that. Something that I've operated in. And to the another interpretation of tongues. You will give me a tongue and I'll be able to interpret it. Right? And I'll interpret it because I'll know what it says. Right? And they give me a tongue where I'm speaking a different language and somebody else understands it and they tell me what it is because it's in their language. <laughs> I don't know what about that. He said, but all these work, all these work, right? All these work all these work, all these work, that one self-same Ruach HaKadosh giving, dividing to every man severally as he wills. You was willed on several occasions to 
operate in the Ruach HaKadosh through me in different gifts, in different aspects of the gifts, right? But the gifts should be in operation, right? You, sh you should see it. And again, it all has to do with receiving the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach, right? Right? And being developed being disciplined, being transformed in your mind. Because your mind will convince you that you can't do none of this. Right? Right, but you gotta be convinced. You gotta be convinced by renewing your mind, establishing your thoughts in the word of Yahuwah, establishing your prayers and your songs in Yahuwah and Yahusha, right? Fasting and praying. You should say some of these things come forth by fasting and praying. You got to be able to fast and pray. And seek Yahuwah's face. Seek Yahuwah's face and fast and pray and trust Yahuwah. To bring it to pass. Trust Yahuwah. To bring it to pass. But all of these work. By the same Ruach HaKadosh. And it's all about you are dealing it to severally to those who he will. Man of y'all, woman of y'all, we going to stop there. We have went to the 11th verse of that 12th chapter and we still got uh, 20 more verses no yeah 20 more verses to go at least but we gonna get through this because this is the Ruach HaKadosh you would let's teach my people they need to receive the Ruach HaKadosh because it's the only way you're gonna make it the Ruach HaKadosh the only way you're gonna make it Yahuwah, I give you praise for your word today. Your word, which is spirit and life. Your word, which is peace and medicine to our flesh. Your word, which is a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our pathway. Your word, which cleanses a man from his ways. Yahuwah, I give you praise for your word, your revelation, your wisdom, your knowledge that you have made manifested to those who have an ear to hear you, who are, I pray. That by your Ruach HaKadosh, you would strengthen, quicken, make alive the presence of your Ruach HaKadosh in them. Yahuwah, they are your people. And I am your servant. And you have called me to give them your word. And your word I have given them. Yahoo, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. And I pray that they would receive this witness with Emuna in the name of Yusha Mashiach. Man of Yah, woman of Yah again. That's all we have for the day. I pray that Yahuwah's word is 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 made alive in you. Listen. I pray that you would allow the Ruach HaKadosh to lead you and guide you into all truth. That the Ruach HaKadosh himself will deal in you severally as he will in spiritual gifts. But recognize this, listen, if you don't have Yahushua's witness, you ain't had, you ain't got, you ain't got no gifts. If you Torah only, you ain't got no gifts. If you taught her only, you who ain't doing nothing in you and through you. Ooh, somebody ain't gonna like that one. Fact. <laughs> you gotta turn. You gotta put yourself in the right position with you. You ain't even got no sacrifice, nor a high priest, nor a tabernacle, nor a holies of holies, and you ain't coming in it anyway because he is. He has uh, caused that to cease. That has decayed. The the sacrifices completed in the Shamaim and Yahushua Hamashiach 
is that Pesach that was satisfied for the sins of the world in Shamaim in the tabernacle, not pitched with hands, and was met by his father in the holies of holies. Man, if y'all want to, yeah, you got to be led by the Ruach and Kaddish. You got to receive his witness. So that's it. So until we bring this word again, may Yahuwah richly bless you and keep you. Yes. Man, if y'all want to, y'all called greatness. Woman of Yahuwah, beautifully and wonderfully made. Yahuwah is faithful with you. With that I say shalom, shalom, shalom. Be blessed. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.